Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Henry Sierra and thank you for clicking on this video. On my channel you can find my journey through filmmaking as I pursue my passion through these videos. I also talk about creative theory, things like the approach, the perspective, the mindset, and things that you can do to make yourself better on this platform over time and on digital media. Now that being said, in this one we're going to be talking about kind of how to keep people watching your videos, how to keep the eyes on the screen, because that is one of the most important things when making YouTube videos is watch time. YouTube cares about how long people are watching your video and doing that consistently. So let's get into it. So I just just kind of redid this whole thing in my head and now I'm gonna take a different approach to it. So now I'm gonna be talking about like Emma Chamberlain and Stumped, uh, who is an upcoming YouTuber who just surpassed 10k subscribers, so congratulations to Stumped. Um, you're doing great man, you've been on here for like a year and a half or a year or so, and I found you when you only had a couple or a few hundred subscribers, so that's insane how fast you've grown and how you have done it, but I know how you have done it and it's really cool how you figured it out for yourself and it's similar to Emma Chamberlain, so we're gonna be talking about both of those YouTubers today. So, all of you guys probably know who she is. She is like 17, 18, I think, and she has a few million subscribers. I'm not exactly sure how many she has now because I stopped watching her briefly, but her editing is a really great example of what I'm trying to say here because it is very jumpy and snappy and it keeps you wondering what the hell's going on. So this is a new style of editing that kind of originated from Emma Chamberlain and that's how she gained her fame because her kind of personality and comedic twist with her uh, videos and stuff like that goes really well with the editing that she does because it, her personality is like is within the editing I don't think any of you guys saw this coming, but I moved to LA like what, like a few months ago. And the whole time I've lived here, I lived in the same apartment. My apartment is cool. It's unique. It's, um... So anyways, going on to people like Stumped. Um, I think Stumped kind of developed this strategy from oh, someone like yeah. Emma Chamberlain. Let's do this! Someone please put me in their cringe compilation. Don't, don't actually do that. That was a joke. A very bad joke, but still a joke. I'm, I'm nailing this video right now that's when it kind of inspired a lot of other people that start editing like her because they saw, well, there's something about this editing and how fast paced it is and how jumpy it is. And well, it's entertaining for me, so I might as well do it myself so that I can be entertaining to other people. I'm not saying at all that Stumped copied this style, but I'm saying that his style is very similar in this kind of way for a lot of his videos and a lot of his earlier videos especially. Um, they are very snappy, very all over the place. Um, and it's just him talking to the camera but he does this really well because it just it goes with his dialogue and things like that. So it keeps you watching and that is how he has uh, grown so fast because he figured that out for himself. Like for real, I had checked this dude like two months ago when he had, it was like 8,000 subscribers or 9,000 subscribers or something like that. And like a week or two later, he has surpassed 10K. So this guy is probably going to be a, in a lot of places because he does very relata relatable videos as it says in his banner where, where he does reactions. I stuttered like five times there and I'm gonna try and edit it out, but if I can't then... Okay, so that is how Stumped is growing as fast as he's growing and um, I'm gonna make a video about another person very, very soon when they hit 10K. He's one of my friends and you guys might know who he is. Yeah, I'm gonna do a like, whole analysis about that, so... Um, yeah, he's almost there, so look forward to that. Okay, so I'll end the video here. Um, I wanna know from you guys though, and leave this in the comments below. What YouTuber's editing or style do you really like that you are inspired by, that you think you could invest into your own style and kind of grow and learn from that? And with that being said, I post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.